crash course here on how to use Betsy the BSE edge bander here. So first step is turn on the machine here. You want it facing up to the electrical bolt that gives power to the machine. And then over here, uh, it will be have this light out. So what you want to do is turn that light, wait for the air pressure to come up, turn that light on like so. That means you have air pressure when you hear that puff of air. And then from there, you come on back here and pull these pressure wheels forward once. And then you roll back to the screen over here and hit the homing button and hold that for a few seconds until the screen says homing running. And then you wait for that guy to home and go from there. And once the homing is complete, it will be indicated with uh, access settled and the green check mark. And also when the temp is up, uh, it will be indicated with a green check mark. And that's what you need to start the machine. Uh, so in when you're first booting up the machine, you'll want to let it run for a little while. Uh, if you're using the white pot, I'd say anywhere from 10 minutes. Uh, if you're using the natural pot, you'll want 10 to 15 just to give it that time to heat up and make the glue nice and smooth so you won't get giant chunks of glue going onto your pieces. So what I do to do that is I hit this little triangle warning button here, which will turn the indicator red, which will run the machine, or the track of the machine but it won't run the cutting implements of the machine. And that'll just allow the machine to warm up as if you were warming up your car in the morning. Uh, and to get the machine to start, you just hold the start button here for, I don't know, three to five seconds, and that green check mark saying active working cycle will indicate with a green check mark. Uh, next step you can do while your machine is warming up is you can set up your tape for what you're banding. And to do so, you want to stick that your roll of tape in here just 